This evening, we know uh, we now know what new rides and attractions are going to be at the Minnesota State Fair. And we also know what will be taking the place of hundreds of chickens, ducks, and turkeys that competed last year at the poultry barn. Birds are being banned from the State Fair this year because of the devastating bird flu that forced farmers to euthanize 9 million turkeys in the state. Instead, the poultry barn will feature 4-H kids' exhibits about their birds and presentations by poultry experts. That's a sobering reminder of a tough year for farmers. But the State Fair also announced its list of new fun attractions. Esme Murphy is live now from the Midway, which looks so different, Esme, with no one behind you there. It looks empty. It is absolutely uh, empty, but in five weeks it will be bustling. Actually, five weeks from tomorrow, there will be a new roller coaster on this midway called the Supernova. We're told it has flying cars. That sounds scary. That roller coaster is being constructed right now in Europe and will be shipped here and will make its debut here at the Minnesota State Fair. There also will be a four story fun house. The State Fair opens five weeks from tomorrow. The staff is already getting ready. And so are the owners of exhibits and restaurants. We have to meet with all our vendors and set up our kitchen and get our menus right. And there's a lot that goes into it. A new freebie at the fair this year will be free sunscreen at all information booths. It's a partnership between the fair and Vanna Cream, which is a local company that makes a hypoallergenic sunscreen that's um, safe for anyone from birth on up. On August 31st, there will be outdoor figure skating on a plastic ice sheet and an appearance by Olympic gold medalist Christy Yamaguchi. There will be special events surrounding the 50th anniversary of the crop art competition and the 100th anniversary of the fair's oldest ride, Ye Old Mill. There will also be what the fair is calling Math on a Stick, which will include something of a math scavenger hunt for preschoolers. Um, kids will be able to go around the fairgrounds and play a game. Notice that a prano pup has one stick, for instance, a cow has four legs. There will also be 34 new merchandise vendors and expect surprises from some of the veterans. Cafe Carib let us in on theirs. This year we're actually doing a hard root beer float. There's a product out there called Not Your Father's Root Beer. It's 5.9% alcohol, and we're doing a scoop of Blue Bunny ice cream in there. And what will they think of next here at the fair? Now, because Labor Day is so late this year, the fair will actually be the latest it can be. Uh, it will run from August 27th to September 7th. If you're looking for a bargain right now, though, Cub Foods right now has discounted admission tickets to the fair as well as discounted coupon books. I bet they'll start selling them. I um, bet they will. Yeah, and Esme, I know you found there's some, you know, for folks who are going to be disappointed about the birds, there's, you know, they can take some action, it sounds like. That's right. Also in the poultry barn, they're actually going to have a special area where people can write and send cards of support and sympathy, sympathy to all those Minnesota poultry farmers who have had such a tough year. And the people in Europe know the fair starts in five weeks and they need to get that ride here for Amelia? <laughs> I certainly hope so, yes. Okay. All right. Esme, good to see you at the fairgrounds. Thanks. We have Absolutely. a lot more on the Minnesota State Fair, including all the new foods and other attractions on our website. You can take a look at WCCO.com links.